welcome to this edition of for the clarity and closure of the viewers comments in this video I will be looking at some of your comments that you've left on my videos now they could be questions they could be statements they could be criticisms and of course there can be trolling going on as well but I will be giving my kuleana to your missives in this video remember I don't take anything personal and it's a good idea if you perhaps would do the same because with correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar it's critical to maintain the balance of the honor grace peace neutrality and rule one rule equal so without any further ado, let's get to it. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this 13th edition of For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewer's Comments. I do feel blessed to bring these videos to you every so often, simply because it's awesome that people think enough of my content to participate with it and comment on it, whether it's positive, negative, or neutral. So having said that, Let's go on to the first comment. This is a comment from someone named colon sovereign colon space entity period. And it's a comment on the closure I gave in a video about the sick. And it says for the explanation of the sick is received with the gratitude by the viewer. I appreciate your gratitude uh, as this is a grammar channel I will critique your grammar this is not correct sentence structure yes they have used position lodial phrases up until the verb right after the verb you will see there is no position lodial phrase there so that automatically throws the whole thing into adverb verb adjective pronoun fiction babble also you notice they have put brackets around what they perceive to be particles of negation would be my best guess in some of their facts. However, they missed one. In sieved, ED is definitely a particle of negation because it is past tense. Again, thank you for the comment, Sovereign Entity. Next comment comes from Magical Fluid process and they said I enjoyed the format of this vid Jason I felt some of my ignorance thaw comma well I appreciate that um, the format of the video is sort of a format I've been using out of convenience rather than using the dry erase board behind me because it's just easier to do a screen share of what I'm doing on the screen using uh, Microsoft Word or whatever and it, I think it uh, while it's not the quote-unquote schoolroom atmosphere it gets the point across I think and uh, you've just validated that for me thank you the next comments come from someone named Conway clean and it's a comment on the live Sabbath stream I did on November 26th. Uh, nice clear sky, not so here in southern New Hampshire and Maine. They're out spraying the sky. And then they said, happy Sabbath to you too. Shalom Sabbat. Um, not really much to say about that, except that... Um, if by spraying you're referring to the the uh, scenario known as chemtrailing or cloud seeding or geoengineering a myriad of terminologies to describe those things in the sky that don't exist um, they do plenty of that over here they do some pretty amazing geometric patterns uh, actually do X's they do crosses I've seen pentagrams uh, up there so uh, some uh, 
artists, real pilot artists up there, for sure. Next comment comes from colon Joseph hyphen Brandt colon space Russell. And he says, power play, lol, nah, AI is learning to be a good citizen, haha. -ha. And this is a comment on a post I made in the community section uh, where I made a statement that YouTube has flagged many of my recent videos. Um, they were pretty much flagging every single Now Space News video for a while. And, and, and other videos as well, especially related to Mark Lowercase K. Kishon Christopher for some reason. And I, I would always um, contest it. I would challenge them on it. I would say, please show me where in the video I violate your terms and conditions so that I may better, you know, gauge what to put in my videos. And every single time, every single time, They've written me back saying, we've approved your video. Every single time. It just happened last week. Uh, on the, uh, the clarification video I did, the short video I did, the one minute video I did, they flagged that one. And it, <laughs> I was just talking about uh, some young man wearing a hat in a forest. And they flagged it. It's really funny. You know, I challenged it and they approved it. So, I don't know. They keep it interesting, that's for sure. Next comment comes from colon David hyphen Lee colon and then the name uh, WI dot dot dot. Wow, that's news to me. I never knew prisons had politicians in them. Well, David, I highly recommend then if this is a topic you're interested in to look up the sheer number of politicians that have gone to jail, there's definitely a multitude of them. Um, definitely. Whether it's for embezzlement or some other type of uh, infraction, usually having to do with money, though. But there are plenty of politicians in prison, no doubt. I feel that YouTube has made our vets die in vain for taking away freedom of speech. I feel that YouTube has made our vets die in vain. For taking away freedom of speech. That's an interesting comment. David, are you aware that YouTube is a platform by consent? Meaning, it's a platform built by someone or a group of people. They created it. And that you and I can use the platform for whatever we want, pretty much as long as we abide by their terms and conditions. We don't have to pay anything. We can choose to come on board it. But it is, in a sense, someone else's platform. So they can make their own terms and conditions as to how they run things. Um, so I don't think this really applies to that. Um, there is really no such thing as freedom of speech on a platform such as YouTube, you're going to have to, I mean, no, put, all right, let me break it down. No one is twisting your arm to be here. No one is holding a gun to your head to be on YouTube. Okay? That's the way I look at it. A lot of people don't really like to hear that. Um, they want to force YouTube to, to promote their opinions. The, 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 positions that they feel strongly about and if YouTube doesn't do that then they think oh YouTube's you know censoring and freedom of speech and blah 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 platforms like YouTube Facebook Instagram TikTok whatever it is they don't work like that man they just don't they just don't anything that's free like that there are terms and conditions to it and really the only solution is to abide by those terms and conditions be honorable and graceful and respect those things or create your own platform and which people have done with what steam it uh, their rumble there's lots of other platforms that are much more geez I hesitate to use this word 
how can I say? I was going to say the L word. Much more platforms that are much more uh, open with their content. But YouTube does have a specific uh, set of terms and conditions. And again, David, if you know, they're not making anyone die in vain, they're just allowing content to come onto their platform filtered through certain terms and conditions. It's pretty much um, that's how it works. Besides, I don't like all their drug-pushing commercials. Well, there are two ways to deal with that, David. You can either vacate YouTube, stop watching it, or you can, uh, I think you get YouTube Premium or whatever it is, and there are no ads in YouTube Premium. So there are options available to you if you still want to use YouTube as much as you dislike it. Um, how did I respond to this? YouTube has made our vets die in vain. What do you think the purpose of the military industrial complex is exactly? What an interesting viewpoint you have. Oh, and on top of all that, um, I address the military industrial complex. Um, if you think about it in an overarching objective state of mind, what I perceive to be an objective state of mind, what do you think, David, that the military industrial complex, what they're mission is overall what do you think their purpose is is it to protect and defend the people's freedoms or is it to protect defend and advance the interests of big business take all the time you need Got another comment from Sovereign Entity, and they say there only exist women in my domain. Ladies are fiction. Well, actually, since this is a grammar channel, Sovereign Entity, your comment is fiction. Unless you're using correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, we are in the fiction domain. Um, it's that simple. So if you'd like to communicate using facts, then communicate using correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar. Uh, the comment that uh, you left earlier, which was a valiant, a valiant attempt at correct sentence structure, I corrected it for you. Um, if you ever want to do workshops, if you ever want to fast track your learning and really, you know, buckle down and get dedicated and serious about learning the grammar, contact me at the email address below here, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com, and apply for a workshop. Um, I've had people on the average learning this stuff within, you know, three to six workshops, some people in one workshop. So, I mean, that's, that's completely up to you though, or you can study the almost 500 videos on this channel to address what they are saying here. Um, in my view, the word ladies, um, uh, describes and articulates a certain kind of female. A certain kind of woman, just like a gentleman describes a certain kind of male. Uh, or a child describes a certain kind of human being, just like brother, sister, mother, father, wife, husband, lady, gentleman. These terms are necessary to be able to, be able to articulate and communicate uh, in everyday life. So... <laughs> Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Ruby G. Edwards. She says, thank you, colon, Jason Knife, and Matthew, colon, Glass, for the comments. They are always helpful learning from the answers you give to other viewers' comments. Well, you're welcome. And that is exactly, you know, the main purpose of this video. Next comment comes from member Ian Ohm. Uh, and this was on my positional video. And he says, I cannot deny the validity of what Ra Uruhu described as the human design system. Subatomic neutrinos penetrate through dark matter crystals, and the result are human consciousness. 90% the speed of light, not a bad refresh rate, if you ask me. 
Thank you for teaching the syntax behind the mathematical interface. I can't stress how grateful I am that we have you here as a demonstration to the validity of correct sentence structure. Well, thank you very much for your sentiments, Ian O.M. Now to move on to the main reason why I included this comment and why this comment does not appear on my channel. I have at least three or four times um, in these comments videos pointed out to Ian that sharing personal religious or philo philosophical uh, systems, whether it's human design system or Christianity or Islam or Judaism or theosophy, those types of things don't really have a place here on this grammar channel. And so that is why comments like this will not see the light of day on the channel. Um, because it's about grammar and it's about things we can certify. So, Ian, once again, please, please honor the terms and conditions of this vessel construct and keep ra uru hu um, out of the comments field. I appreciate it. Thank you. And the final comment comes from Stephen Schmidt. Oh, and also Magic Magical Fluid Process. Stefan says, I'm sorry, I mispronounced the name. Stefan says, Jason, I thank you so much for this excellent lesson. Can't find any better explanation with more closure anywhere. You are a great tutor for the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. That's fact. Greetings from Germany, Bavaria. Well, thank you very much, Stefan. I do appreciate it. It does make me feel uh, very good that you feel that way because that's my volition uh, is to produce content that cannot be found anywhere else on the internet for free, um, valuable content to people who are serious about learning this grammar. I have been teaching for five years, so I have developed a certain style and I feel I've become quite proficient at it uh, because I do it every day. Every day I do it. And that's what you have to do to be able to be successful using this grammar. There's no doubt about it. There's no way around it. There's no uh, quick fixes, um, shortcuts. It's all about the blood, sweat, and tears of it. And I thank you also for your membership. And the final comment, Magical Fluid Process says, I enjoyed the format of the... Oh, I already did that one. Sorry. <laughs> Tack that one on at the end. A little bit of positivity to end the video. Thank you, everyone, for joining me for this week's edition of the comments. Um, again, if you want to learn this grammar, if you are serious about it, contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen and apply for a workshop. I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation with which I will provide the venue and uh, we'll see if you are serious about learning. You can ask me anything you want to. Also, there are memberships available here. Just click the join button to find out more about that. If you choose tier two, loyalists and contributors, you will get exclusive content not available to the public. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.